Hey there guys, it's Maxo Diddley here and today I am here with another Java tutorial to help you get that A in your practical exam. Today we are with Length Checks Part 2. So last time we checked for a specific length and today we're going to be checking for a range of lengths it could be. And this will have similarities with the range check. If you haven't watched our previous length check video or our all the range check tutorial, I strongly recommend you do. There will be a link in the description and an I will be somewhere in the top right of the screen that you can click on and watch one of them if you want to. So anyway, let's get right into the tutorial. So firstly, we're going to need to go for string input and we're going to set it to Jimmy again. This is basically the variable that would store the user input, but we don't need the user input for this tutorial as you should already know how to do that. We're going to do int min length, and we're going to set this to four, and we're going to have int max length, and this is going to be equal to eight. So basically, this is the minimum amount of characters that the user input could be, and this is the maximum amount of characters the user input can be. This is exactly like our range check tutorial. Now we're going to make a method underneath our main method and we're going to do public st static boolean and we're going to call it length check and we're going to have three arguments that this method's going to take when it's called. We're going to have string in which will take the variable input. We'll have int min which will take the minimum value that the length can be, and int max, which can take the maximum value that the length can be. And we are going to do this in one line of code, so we're going to do return, and we're then we're going to have max is greater than in dot length, and then we're going to have and, dub two and symbols by the way for and, in dot length is greater than min. So, that's meant to be, by the way, um, a, a greater than symbol, not a question mark. I can't type today. So, what does this inequality actually mean? Well, firstly, we're making sure that, firstly, in.length is basically the length of the string in, which is the same as input. So, basically checking for the length of the input string. So, in this case, we're checking for the length of Jimmy, which is 5. So, in this case, this just takes the value of 5. And we are checking to see if it's less than max. And max has the value of 8, so therefore it is less than max. So, therefore, it, can, it is true. Then we have and, and now we have another inequality. In dot length is basically the same as before. We're taking the value, the, the length of whatever string in is, which is the same as string input, which is equal to Jimmy. So therefore, in this case, this takes the value of 5. And then we have min. Int min is the second argument that is passed through into our method. And int min, in this case, takes the value of 4, or whatever the value of min length is. So in this case, it's 4, so we're passing 4 through. And we're checking that 5 is greater than 4. And this is true. So, how does this all work? So basically, Java will check to see if this is true and this is true. If they're both true, it will return true. However, if one of them is false, it will return false overall. As to get a true, both inputs need to be true. However, if you get a false, at least one false, it will make the overall output false. And therefore, Java returns false. So you think about this logically. In dot length could be less than the maximum value, but it could also be less than the minimum value. Like my, it could take the length of zero, for instance. And obviously we need both of these to be true, otherwise inputs that are out of the range could be classed as valid. And now we're just gonna have an if statement in our main method. We're gonna, we're gonna do if length check input min length, if I can type in length correctly, max, I can't type today guys, sorry about this, 
And then we're going to do J option show message dialogue. I can't actually type to the get today, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to do null and we're going to do valid. And then we're going to have an else and then we're going to basically just copy and paste this code because I'm too lazy to type. And we're going to just change this to invalid. Then we're going to right click on J option pane and go to fix imports. So, what does this code do? It basically does the same as what we did in the range check. We call our length check, so we're calling this method. We pass in imp the value of input, the minimum length and the maximum length, which they're here. So in this case, we're passing in Jimmy, four and eight. It then executes this method, which we just explained. And then, if it's true, execute this code. Otherwise, if it's not true, then execute this code. And since with booleans you have true or false, there are only two possible options you can have for an output. So we don't need to do like an else if or anything, we can just have else. So that's all for, the, for um, this, let's just check it works. So this should output valid. Yes it is. And let's say we change it to Jimmy um, triple O seven instead of double O seven. So this will be nine characters. Invalid. Let me explain what this is. So, Jimmy three, triple O seven is nine characters. Nine is greater than eight. Therefore, it's invalid. So, yeah. In, in this method, if we scroll down, max is eight. In dot length would become nine, as the length of this is nine. And eight is not greater than nine. So therefore, it will return false. So anyway guys, that's all for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And be sure to subscribe as I will be posting more ch quick tutorials to help you get that A in your practical exam. If you've got any improvements for me to make, please leave a comment. And if you've got any questions, also leave it in the comments below. Anyway guys, thanks for being a great audience and we will see you next time.